Okay, here we are again. Did you know it's just the third day we've been playing this game? I know, just the third day, but um, when we won online games, we have a tendency of going relatively quick. So, what do we do? Mm, we should have Metropolis. It's still not quite enough to make up for our money shortfall, but we'll get there eventually. We've uncovered stellar governance. We're gonna look up what that gives us. We need to see if we should upgrade our research labs with the uh, with Ed's uh, idea of not just having 10% increase in every research level but actually having meaningful levels. I think it might well be worth upgrading these. We're gonna have to look at our uh, troops to see if these field generals are better worth taking. We've already looked at the new bridges and we've just determined that they have a little bit more HP which is fine but not immediately needed and doesn't immediately warrant so, oh my god I need to have new designs. There's no need to getting into the detailed views yet, the filtered views. There's not that much happening in this game just yet. Oh ho ho look at this. What is this? A colonizer? A Taco Bell. This is a Taco Bell. Who knows what this freighter freights? In order to be a colony ship, there would need to be a planet that he can colonize. He might be interested in these two. I have no idea if he has sensors on the ship and sees my ship seeing him. But um, you know what? I'm just going to risk it and attack it. If it's a carrier, well, tough luck me. But otherwise, you're going to attack, seek this, and then move to the warp point. And you are also going to move to the war point. And you are going to need to go there, and you need to go there. And you... And you were out of supply last turn, that's why you only moved one tile. Uh, which means that you can move two this time. Curious to see what he has on his own world. I hope he's not going to panic and mass build units or some uh, something nasty. Uh, he should identify this as merely a scout ship and not actually a serious attack on his home world. But that's coming, it's coming. No worries. So, we have a massive fleet of 11 warships here. Dup, 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 dup. It's important to leave the uh, task force leader as one of the slower ships, otherwise if we put one of the four ships in lead, uh, these are going to lag behind and what you really want is to have all ships arrive at the enemy at the same time. Though with how small the combat arena is in this mod, uh, <laughs> might not actually make too much of a difference because they just can't lag very much behind if there isn't much dist to cover in the first place. But these are all kinetic armed ships, except for like... Uh, the one, the one small box here. Oh no, actually we have two of these. Whatever. We have our glorious sensor ship. Now if we want to, we can detach the sensor ship with the four move um, with the four move ships. But right now, I think I'd rather have all of these ships. We are going to move here, and I'm going to leave it as an attack move order. In fact, just here. That's going to take three turns. Zero turns, one turns, two turns, that's three turns, makes sense, right? Tech. Is mm, this gonna give us anything else we want? Level four, not really, unless these research labs are worth it. Shields, I'm just going to leave one percent there for now. Let's look at stellar governance. Gunboat and fighter computer cores, orbital space docks, battle schools, supercomputers and security agencies. I'm guessing security agencies would be just regular intel centers, but he's disabled intel, that's why the icon in here is grey. Supercomputers, um, well the icon instead of the central computer would give you 50% or up to 50% increased research in vanilla. Battle school, that is an icon, I uh, um, component icon. Much like the orbital space dock one, so that makes me think that's something you're supposed to put on a space station. Maybe that gives you increased uh, increased experience per turn. 
much like the uh, facilities do. Orbital space dock also sounds like it's probably just a space dock. Did we have a have a dedicated repair component? Maybe there's a repair ability in there. Gunboat and fighter computer cores, I'm not sure. Fighters don't need any crew aside from the cockpit, so I'm not sure if there's much of an advantage there unless they have like uh, offensive and defensive boning. Gunboats do actually need crew, even if the gunboats get the automated bridges that make them uh, only use half as much. Uh, all in all, I don't think this is an immediate priority. Large crew quarters, small crew quarters, solar reactors. It's a very cheap tech to research, I don't think we need it though. Um, we could research it to level 3 and see what the next level is going to give us, uh, genetic engineering or whatever it's called. Uh, but then that will also be expensive and also probably not a priority then. I think we should just invest all our money in uh, shields right now. Shields and afterwards probably that large antimatter reactor. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be happy with that. Let's get to level 3 in this or so. Okay, what's the money situation look like? We're still quite short on the uh, organics, but otherwise it looks fine. I think I'm going to allow this ship to be built this turn. You know, it's going to create a war draw on there. The yeah, organics is going to be our shortfall mineral. And what else do we want to build afterwards? We already have a full fighter complement for this thing, do we? Yeah, six of these hemorrhaging thingies. With the fusion torpedoes. Uh, question, can torpedoes hit? No, torpedoes cannot hit gunboats, so there's not actually a point of putting uh, shields on these. I mean, shields uh, protect you against uh, things other than torpedoes as well, but... Oh well, we'll see. We don't know if he's using other weapons than torpedoes anyway. Mm -hmm. You're going to sit there for a moment until he moves off. You had your orders. Mm, we had this uh, defensive fleet coming here to assist the conquest of that one. You've been... You're moving, you're underway. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to be here in three turns. So let's just move you there. You're going to be there in two turns or three turns, and this one actually takes four turns. Okay, you are still going to be building cities for quite a while. I could queue up a few more with you. But since you only have 50% organics value, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just not convinced by you. I think we should use the other planets for that then. And put research on here. From a homeworld, the quickest way to his homeworld over there would still be to go through this system and this system, which means that this system is going to be reasonably more close to his homeworld, but only marginally so. Could probably go through these systems and arrive here a quicker. So maybe this one is going to be one of our, or the primary construction yard. Alright, before we check, how good are the upgraded uh, research labs? 12 points instead of 8 points, that's a 50% increase. Yeah, I think that warrants cancelling this for the moment and building one of these instead. And then just listing these as upgrades. And this planet has uh, something to do for a while. 50% increase is actually not for scrubs, so. Um, how about we upgrade the 23 facilities on a homeworld? Oh, we could also upgrade the cities on a homeworld from 250 to 300 mineral extractions. How about we just do that? I like that idea. Heavy shipyard construct with 1500. Level 1 does 1200. 
Uh, we have just the one heavy shipyard on here. But with all the production bonus is good enough. Um, this doesn't convey us any bony that we need. This doesn't really either. Unless there's a cloaky fleet approaching home but we don't know anything about, in which case, well, we'd be really screwed. But we're not seeing any other cruisers in his Empire report. Freighters, armies, gunboats. Uh, you are forever building. Yeah, with all these uh, building construction and building, I need minerals to support all that too. Yeah, storage is at 75k maximum now. Yeah. You are still going to be building things forever. Okay, we've given all our ships orders. Yeah, we have to see what happens to this um, presumably colonizer next turn. Maybe carrier. Only one way to find out.